Welcome back to Game of Thrones. Episode 3 has just come out, so let's jump right into it. Previously on Game of Thrones. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Father, I'm going to kill you. Is that so? I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Roderick? Roderick, by the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! <laughs> Let her go! <laughs> Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. <laughs> She's been gone a while. She'll come back. If they catch her, they'll kill her. They won't catch her. She's costing us time. It's just that we need to get to Marine. Every day we lose here is a day that Talia or Ryan could be hurt, or, or, or worse. You must return home safely, Asher, and... Well, you, you have a history of putting your faith in women who may not deserve it. She's my friend, Uncle. She's been at my side for a long time. Was it them? The Lost Legion? Aye. Too many for us to take. I counted about two dozen, maybe more, as well as horses. About half a mile down the canyon, and coming fast. Had to run my ass off to avoid getting caught. <laughs> it's nearly empty. You two care if I finish it off? It might be a while before we find more water. <sighs> Dying, though. We're better off saving this for later. Well, I hope we enjoy it. Right. We need to get moving. <sighs> the Lost Legion. We're a hundred miles from Yunkai. When are they going to give up? Never. They're still raw about Tazal. Yes, well, perhaps you shouldn't have snapped his neck. There is such a thing as overdoing. Not that I care about Tazal. Let me remind you, it was him who tried to kill us. I just returned the favor. Oh, don't doubt it. You always did have a gift for that sort of thing. It's only a matter of time before they overtake us. Ah, bugger a harpy. Can we double back? Not without meeting our mates from Yunkai. We're well and truly fucked this time, Asha. During severe winters, when the Skahazadan floods, it carves out great underground rivers in the sandstone. And? And when those waters recede, those rivers become caves. And those caves might hide us, if we can find them. I mean, we're trapped for the moment, but all I'm saying is we, we needn't die here. Just standing our ground. Let's spread out and look for cover. 
If he's right about this, I may actually stop him. Alright, so we're looking for caves. Gotcha. What do you think? Could we climb out of here? Pretty steep, Asher. And we'd be totally exposed if your friends arrived before we reach the top. Well, we can't stay. Do you think we could dig our way through? Or try to scramble over? I don't know. Either will be slow and tricky. One wrong move and the whole thing could collapse on us. I really want one of those caves. That really sounds like the best idea. What in seven hells did you two do to rile these bastards so badly anyway? Well, back when Asher and I first oh, shit, started running here. together in Volantis... Looks like we're not alone. Ugh. No obvious wounds. Maybe he died of thirst. Wait, I Listen. hear water. That's water. I hear water. From underground. There might be a cave nearby. Look at this. Gold. Fat lot of good it did him. He's not gonna need that. Asher, the Lost Legion will be here at any moment. This is Essos. There's always time for gold. <laughs> Or is Shit. it? It's them. On the freedom! Kesirizzi! Maybe there isn't time for gold. Come on! Go, go! Behind us! Damn it! Russia! Find us another way out of here! Got it! Hey, if they want to come at us one soldier at a time, go for it. Just slice them up in the tunnel. What we have the advantage. The hell is that smell? Ooh, uh... I can't even guess what this used to be. There's a light! Go! See if there's a way through. We'll hold them off! Looks like a way out. The question is, can I get up to it? Oh shit, is there a beast down here? This is the lair. This is the lair of a beast. A very, very large beast that I'm about to encounter right now, aren't I? Mm-hmm. A fucking dragon? Eska! I'll come! Fend off a dragon. <gasps> dodge. I'm gonna have to dodge. Oh god. between the two options, right? Uh, I don't have much time. My friend might be about to get burned to death. I'm sorry. Can you walk? Asher, 
We have to move now! Uh, I'm fine. You think I don't know pain? Get out of my way. Hurry! The beast is coming around! Listen up, you sorry lot. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Garrett, <laughs> we'll be men of the watch before nightfall. Right. Sorry. No hard feelings over that business with Finn, yeah? I appreciate you not ratting me out over the knife. It's nice to know there's at least one brother I can trust. Finn might have killed me otherwise. Just promise me you'll stop stealing things, Cotter. All right. I swear it. Never again. Well, no guarantees on potatoes or lamprey pie. Or for that matter. <laughs> Just messing with you, Garrett. I promise. I'll mend my thieving ways. Well, aren't you two sons of whores looking thick as thieves? Having a good laugh over nicking my knife, eh, Garrett? Men like you turn traitor for nothing. It's in your blood. <laughs> Next, you'll be killing men of the watch for a loaf of bread. Aye. You're worse than Cotter. At least he has the guts to do the deed himself. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. I'm not even You're gonna just reply a to him. Fucking craven. It's just like a craven to sit there and take it. Finn, leave him alone. It wasn't Garrett's fault. If you're gonna hate someone, hate me. With pleasure. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Or maybe you'll save his. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the Builders. Finn to the Rangers, Eric to the Stewards, Hugh to the Rangers, Cotter to the Builders. And finally, Garrett to the Rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. Well, there we are. I'll be patching up the wall, and you'll be defending it. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up, and follow my lead. Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon have seen me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now. I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Finn. Shows you what kind of ripe fools are running this place. I can't believe they made you a ranger. You're not fit for the job. You don't have any balls between your legs. 
Like it or not, we're brothers now. Means we're gonna have to get along. Don't count on it. You wouldn't even be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. Well, maybe I like holding his hand. It's nice and warm, and he's pretty, and, I mean, uh... I could hold your hand. I'd keep an eye out for you if you weren't such an ass about everything. You don't give a shit about me. No one around here gives a shit about me. They wouldn't even care if I... Do you know how many rangers are never heard from again in these parts? And I'm about to become one myself. All alone out here. Wildlings everywhere. Or wolves. Or god. Giant wolves. It's alright to be afraid. Keeps you alert, keeps you from being too confident. Like the next time we fight. I'll remember that fist of yours rattling my skull and I'll think twice. I suppose you're right. You want a different assignment? Because I hear they need someone to clean the shit house. <laughs> See, that's why I got so fucking mad at you, Garrett. You're the closest thing I have to a friend. See, best buds now. Everything's good. You handled that well, Garrett. They say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Now go. Take your vows. In the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. Look at that weirwood tree. These things are... ancient. They come from a much older time, and I don't doubt that they're alive in some way or something's watching us through the eyes carved into it. They're very powerful, somehow. It's a blessing and a curse to be a ranger. It's certainly more exciting than just being a, a builder or a steward but it's also way, way more dangerous. Oh, do I actually have to... I actually have to... Oh, that's really, really cool. I didn't expect that. Hear my words, and bear witness to my vow. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. It shall not end until my death. I shall take no wife, I shall take no wife. hold no lands, father no children. I shall wear no crowns, and win no glory. I shall, I shall live and die, and die at my post. I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the Night's Watch for this night and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. Watch now! 
Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? Who exactly would be visiting me? I'm not sure why I'm going to the blacksmiths, but what the hell? Jon Snow's right about Mantrader. We're going to need all the weapons we can make. Alright, that was awkward. I just kind of interrupted him when he was trying to do some work, and he never replied, because why would he? Don't forget the practice shot. Oh, Uncle you. Duncan! Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. I'm glad I caught you. I've missed you, Uncle. I never expected to see you here. I've business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields, to keep you all out of harm's way. That settles it, then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. I heard the news about Ethan. I wasn't there when it happened. Small mercy, I suppose. Not having to see our lord struck down with such barbarity. But House Forrester is nothing, if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling Iron Wrath. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Just before he died, Gregor's final command, spoken to you in confidence. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. I've been reading his journals, scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I've found the answer. He describes a fortification. A protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world. One filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. A vital secret he protected at all costs. And you think it's north of the wall? His notes suggest as much. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a tuttle. Our lord knew you wouldn't fail him. As do I. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind, and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. Uncle, that's desertion. The Night's Watch execute men who desert. I know. I wouldn't ask this of you if there was another way. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. What is that? A page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. I'm wondering exactly what Duncan's game plan is. So, okay, I go north of the wall on some sort of a ranger mission, and then I desert the Night's Watch looking, you know, going on a treasure hunt. Okay. I'm not gonna have that many supplies. But even, as even assuming I do have tons of supplies, and, like, food and having a horse is not an issue. Let's say I find this place. Then what? Like, what do I do? Do I just call Duncan up on his ye olde cell phone and tell him I found the place? Like, what am I supposed to do? The only way to actually get back is to go through the wall. 
And who would you encounter if you were going through the wall? Well, the Night's Watch, and if they found you, they would kill you. So, like, what am I even supposed to do if I find the place? I don't get it. Bloody ice dragon. Gods be good. Now that I would love to see. A song of ice and fire. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. Ooh, maybe it's oh. a key. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick too. I wonder... I think it might be a key. I used to be frightened of where with trees. But before I was a man grown, I swear, I actually could hear him whispering sometimes. A mammoth. Mammoths do actually exist. Very, uh, very far north. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. A mammoth? <laughs> this map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. This can't be real, Uncle. Oh, it's real. Look. There's a clasp. It must open. Wait, you're telling me you never examined this thing? I had no idea this was inside. Another werewolf. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Ooh. This is actually kind of exciting. It's a treasure hunt. Fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. I'm not entirely sure how that helps, but, uh... the whole map that has to turn. Aye. The werewood's mouth. Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here. Take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. You can tell everyone back at Ironrath that Garrett Tuttle has taken up the cause. Your sense of honor is a quality I've long admired, Garrett. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett! I don't know. They're probably like little shards or something. Wait, so, like a weapon? Well, well, that was rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. It's a family matter. I'd just as soon keep it private. So it's secret then. It looked like he gave you something. It was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Already keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? Ah, uh, Garrett's right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's gonna take a lot of years for the wall to melt. I can just imagine the wall in the modern world with climate change just melting. Just like how we talk about, <laughs> how we talk about like the North Pole melting and, you know, glaciers melting and stuff like that. Instead, there's pictures of the wall like half melted. 
a shadow of what it once was. There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. Sarah, it will be Marjorie's day, not ours. I... I know. I... I didn't mean anything by it. I've been meaning to say... what I told you about my... family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. Sarah, you should be careful who you trust around here. Secrets can be dangerous in the wrong hands. I'll certainly be more careful in the future. Hold on, look. I don't think she likes me. There he is. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. Marjorie won't notice it for a few minutes longer. Could you make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Yeah, sure. Go on then. It'll be fine. The wedding's still days away. Thank you, Mira. I knew I could count on you. He's alive. Uh. Okay, I, I, I think I need to talk to him. What are you doing here? Surprised to see me, eh? I am. That's the way you left me. Mm hmm. You can't have thought you were going to see me again. I. I'm sorry I left you. I am. Well. I'm glad you didn't die. And he deserved what he got, for what he tried to do to you. But I'm here to warn you. I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about. Shh. They already know he's missing, probably dead. They're questioning people, searching for his body. It's not safe. They don't have any proof he's dead, do they? They found blood on the garden stones by the fountain. But they can't know it's his. What? What is it? If we're going to survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. What if they find his knife? I threw it away. Oh, oh no. You do not want to get caught looking for it. Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll... I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. Why are you helping me? What do you mean? I'm a friend, Lady Mira. My name's Tom. We help each other. Or it's both our heads. What were you even doing there that night? I once told you. There are people who'd be willing to help you. People who want you alive. I'm here to make sure that happens. Wait, what? You mean someone... Mira? My lady. Really? A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy? Not to say it's wrong, but with all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. At least you're trying to keep it secret. Uh, thank you for saving me from that person. Oh, thank the gods you came along, Sarah. That boy. He fancies me. He'll find any excuse to talk. I just don't have the heart to drive him off. So you misled him? I wouldn't waste the time. Come on. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. You can tell me all about this Lord Tarwick on the way. Well... 
if you really want to know. First of all, his name's Garibald, and he has this really funny accent. He told me the cleverest story about this festival they have where they celebrate. I didn't want her to know, because I honestly I don't entirely trust her. And I've her. given the musicians a list of songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems with the reins of Castamere. <laughs> I trust you've chosen all the standards, but just to be sure, I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace, my Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his king's guard close at hand during the feast. That won't save him. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we. What was that? Do you object? Is that what I heard? I. Uh... If you're going Your to speak out of turn, girl, I... you should finish what you start. We do as you command, Your Grace, and we'll spend the feast wherever it pleases you. You'll spend it mopping the stables, if I please. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose between yourself and the king. She was deferential to the crown then, as she is now. But words are wind. In any case, it's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens will sit elsewhere. Of course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. And that place is not with my brother, Tyrion. What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion. What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. Tyrion... He offered to help my family. He did? Then surely he expects something in return. Sarah, what do you know of this? I couldn't say, my lady. She's as much a mystery to me as she is to you. I don't care what your intentions were, Mira. You went to a Lannister behind my back. I've only ever tried to help you. Why are you making trouble for me? I had to help myself. My family needs me. We're losing everything. I have to do whatever I can to help them. I'm not blind to your pain, Mira. But your problems are not the only ones in the world. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you can go home to your family. I'm only trying to help my family. You would do the same for yours. Please don't send me home. This can't happen again. Well, so much for the deal with Tyrion, I suppose. He's alive. I forgot about him. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower in our own house. What in damnation are they doing? They just showed up here, started banging their shields. I'll need my sentinel. Go ahead, Talia, and have Royland beat me in the courtyard. It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? 
I demand to know. <laughs> Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son of Lord Ludd Whitehill and commander of this garrison. Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, hey, Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognise you, but the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. I've had enough of this, Griff. What are you trying to prove here? I had to get your attention, didn't I? Always so busy beating your own chest, Roderick. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now! And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not, you'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men right. I've heard what you've done, and if they're eating wormy bread, then your people better be eating shit off the ground. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? We've given your men the wine they want. If they drink too much of it, that's their doing. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Bruce Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever... We do what we were sent here to do. You're here to keep watch on your soldiers. That's all. Don't act as if you're something more. You aren't listening, Roderick. And that's a dangerous fucking habit for a cripple. Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. No, you know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick, you can't let them do this. Do I have the power to stop them? We're about to find you out. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now, eh? I'm the only lord here. Come on. Where the hell are all... Where are our soldiers? I don't see any of ours. I didn't see any of our men. Griff Whitehill. That snot nosed fourth ball. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, that's clearly what he wants. We can't go to war within our own walls. Whatever we do, we have to be careful. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. Ramsay Snow killed Ethan. 
What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. One or the other, expelling Griff or saving Ryan. I don't actually think this is much of a debate, really. Because I don't think we can focus on saving Ryan until we have... ...peace within our own walls. We have to make sure we're stable here before we can possibly expect to do anything to save Ryan. We have to push Griff and his soldiers out of Ironrath. They're the most immediate threat. But Roderick, what of Ryan? If you move against Griff, who knows what those wretches will do to my son? That's Knowing true. the White Hills, they'd gut him and leave him at our gates. Forgive me, my lady. Speak true. Would you give up this house? But your brother! We must secure Ironrath, so we have a home to bring Ryan back to. Don't forget him. Then, it's decided. We take back our home. We lost most of our men with Gregor, at the Twins. We can probably gather another 30 or 40 men. But the Whitals are already fortified inside Ironrath. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the Glenmores. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos, with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. If we have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come. But it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter? The very same. After the hells that came from her and Nasha. Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. I may not be your sentinel, but please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Do you think she can be trusted? It's possible she has other motives. But it's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it, and I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point, when the time comes. Oh my, this is quite the loading screen. There we go. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the crown lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. Uh. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen. And if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Mira? 
I'm sorry, Lord Tyrion, but Lady Marjorie needs me. Very well. Just know that matter we discussed? <clears throat> A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. I thought you would want to know. Good news on a day that is already blessed. Thank you for telling me, Lord Tyrion. Oh, one more thing. The most valuable favor is a favor unspent. Perhaps I'll call on you for a dance at the wedding feast. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Lady Marjorie, welcome to the family. For better or worse. Lord Tyrion. Just how is he helping your family? What's this talk of a royal decree? You know I didn't want you talking to him. Today of all days. I made a deal with him. For the crown to buy my family's ironwood. Think of how this will look. House Forrester already has so few friends at court. And when this decree becomes public, you may find you have even fewer. You disappoint me, Mira. We'll talk about this after the wedding. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... Come with me, Sarah. I don't... I don't care if I disappoint them. I'm just looking out for my family. All right, hold on. I'm, I'm just going to stop it there. Uh, I think I need to be more assertive in when I stop and end episodes, because when I played the last episode, there was like almost never a point where the game just kind of stopped. So I think I just played through the entire thing in like one sitting or something. I don't know, it kind of got out of control, so I'm going to stop it right here. It's a nice transition to a new scene. It just saved the game. Everything's good. Pretty good place to end it, I think. So... I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.